Hello, welcome to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and uh, let's do some painting. Hello, welcome to my latest video. Hope you're keeping well and all that jazz on Tuesday 10th of January. So I'm going to be painting on this stretch canvas 20 by 16 inches, put a layer of gesso on with my hands which is now dry and uh, we'll get going. Now rather tragically there is no palette cam because um, my phone which I use as my palette cam isn't charging so uh, there's something up with that. So my apologies obviously there'll be some of you will be absolutely devastated that we haven't got a palette cam but um, hopefully it'll be back in action tomorrow. Anyway um, let's get going. So I'll tell you what's on me glass palette. I'll probably take a photograph of it actually so uh, at least you can see my setup. I've um, got some Payne's grey, I've got some sap green with a bit of carmine mixed into it, make it quite a nice interesting colour. got some Indian yellow and some ultramarine blue and mixed a bit of white into that, make a nice sky colour. And titanium white and in the middle I've got linseed oil. So um, literally five colours and that's it, so very limited palette. So uh, we'll get going, start waving my hairy stick about. Might use my little two inch uh, flat brush for this. I've got two inch, three inch and millions of other brushes, but uh, this is one of my favourites, this little two inch brush. Right, we'll get some uh, linseed on, throw some paint on. We'll see what happens, get some of this uh, sap green with carmine red mixed into it. And see what happens. I might just get a bit of Indian yellow. I know it's, it's difficult to see what I'm doing without a palette camera, so my apologies for that. Start throwing some colour on, start whacking some shapes on. I had uh, a comment the other day off somebody saying, uh, try and avoid overworking the paint. You know, if you, if you overdo it, it starts getting muddy and it loses some of its colour, you know, some of its uh, vivid pop. So I'm going to try my best not to overwork it. It's uh, brilliant advice. So I, I know you might be watching, so thank you for that. It really does mean a lot. I do like it when people uh, give me constructive criticism. It helps me learn and develop. Because I've only been painting three years, which is nothing really. You know, three years seriously painting every single day, which isn't long. So, in the spirit of not overdoing things, I'm just going to leave that for the time being. I'm going to grab some of this nice pale blue. Just plonk some of that on the horizon. Just over there, using very little paint. Oh, haggis for tea tonight, I'm looking forward to that when I've done this painting. Start making haggis. My favourite, well one of my favourite types of food in the world is haggis. I love it, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I am a big fan. Might put a bit more blue up here in my fingers. First time I had haggis was, oh god, when was it? Yeah, it's 20 odd years ago. I was in uh, Fort William in Scotland and uh, went to a chippy and I ordered black pudding with chips. And, um, you know, I was, I was with other people and it arrived. I thought this um, black pudding is a funny colour. 
And the, you know, my, my mate I was with, he was a Scot, he said, oh, it's not black pudding, that's haggis. And bloody hell, it's, uh, it's bloody delicious. It's been amazing. So, uh, yeah, I've been hooked on haggis ever since. You know, having it by accident, it's uh, lovely. Because I, I never thought I'd like it, you know, because of what's inside haggis. But yeah, it is uh, delicious. Anyway, enough banging on about haggis. I know there's some, some people who are vegetarian and indeed vegan. So I'm not gonna go on about it any longer. Yeah, not a bad sky that, not bad at all. Give me brush a quick clean while I have a look. So I think I was using too much paint when I was overworking. And um, so I, yeah, when, when he said try not to overwork it, I wondered what he meant. So I looked it up and did some research online and, and there's, you know, the, the trick is, is not to use much paint, um, not to keep going like that and mixing it, mixing it, mixing it on the canvas. And also stepping back and pausing every now and again. So um, I'll have a pause, but while you're not, instead of you watching me pause for five minutes, I'm just going to turn the camera off and have a look and pause and think, because it makes a crap video if... I just sit here doing nothing. So uh, I'll see you in a minute. Right, back at it. I might just plonk a bit of uh, Payne's Grey down here in this foreground. Again, not much paint going on at all. Just a bit. Scarcely any paint on there. I'm not conscious now about overworking things. I'm being very careful not to make a mess. I might just uh, bring down the horizon just a little bit over there. Could do it for now. Right, I wonder, a bit of Indian yellow just here. It's a nice bit of light on the scene. Yeah, there's a talking to a colleague at work today, a good friend. He's, he's also the funeral director where I work and uh, he's saying he's been watching my videos and he's noticed that my accent changes during the videos. Now I can't do accents, you know, I, he, he said it, it went from, you know, the Derbyshire voice then it went Geordie and Brummie and South African and a bit of everything so uh, <laughs> let me know in the comments <laughs> if my voice does change <laughs> uh, I don't particularly like the sound of my own voice Right, that's that for now. Start doing a bit more sky. I'm quite pleased so far. I'm not overdoing things. I haven't got too much paint on. I'll put some titanium white up here. And it's, it's got a bit of brown mixed in as well, which is quite pleasant. And there's perhaps a hint of blue there as well. It's 
nice, nice interesting clouds. That puts a bit of Payne's grey up here, not much. Just put a bit of threat in the sky. It's uh, nice to be back at work after a break over Christmas because it's the first time I've ever had a job where well, I've uh, missed it, you know, over Christmas break I missed being there because I really do enjoy it. There's no greater privilege. It's uh, so nice to finally be doing something that I enjoy and have immense pride in doing. is a nice sky man. I'm pleased with that. Let's uh, plunk a bit of blue up here. So yeah, I'm very grateful to my viewer for pointing that out to me. Not to overwork your oil paintings very grateful because it has so far made a difference right I'll leave that for now so as not to go over the top and I'll have another break right give me brush a quick clean again and have a think. I might put some more of that brownie white over there. Or grey brownie white. That's a new colour I've invented. Nice accidental shapes gone in the sky. Nice little swirl there, that's pretty good. Right, I'll leave that so as not to overdo things. Not bad at all, not bad, I'm pleased. Right, let's have a think about the foreground. Who's beeping outside? Can you, can you hear that car beeping outside? Bloody hell, don't know really I'm trying to do a video. Let's wipe away some of that in the distance there to create some haze. And some light, quite nice that. Oh, what a difference. That's interesting. Of course the film doesn't really do any justice because I haven't got five grams worth of camera but um, yeah it's, uh, it's quite nice lovely stuff start to think about putting some features on that landscape I'll pick up a bit of Payne's grey just do something there like that. A few distant rocks and things gone on. Mm. 
Quite pleasant. A few little lumps of white here and there. I might put a bit of Indian yellow down here on that spot. Yeah, not bad. Now, let's have a think. I wonder if I just pick up some blue and more Payne's Grey. Just have a bit of a feature over there like a hill or whatever just gives the impression of uh, some distance I don't know if the camera picks that up but there's definitely something going on over there Nice bit of a mountain. Just grab a bit of Payne's Grey, just sort of the edge out a bit. This fools the eye into thinking there's distant mountains. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, there's a lot to be said for not overworking. I had a look on uh, the viewer's YouTube channel, see if he had any paintings, because uh, I thought, oh, he knows what he's talking about. And yeah, he didn't have any paintings on his channel. But he's absolutely right, because all of a sudden it's far more vibrant than previous paintings put some things there a few rocks and over there <laughs> nice i'll have a pause for thought And keep going. I wonder, just put some stuff just there. It creates a bit of depth between middle distance and that distant hill. Again, not overworking. wonder whether or not just to break up that speck of uh, yellow just there just by going like that there's an interesting line there there we go lovely it's gentle gentle does it Now, I wonder if we just throw something up 
like that. Just make it a bit more dramatic. That's more like it, yes. It was a bit, uh, left hand side was a bit dull. So uh, put some rocks and things up here maybe. Uh, looks a bit more mountainous. Wonder a bit of a line there. Yeah, the bristles aren't the only part of the bush. You know, you can use use the end of it. Oh, I like to sometimes. Not bad at all. Right, I wonder. I just get some of this Indian yellow just a bit. Just put a bit in the distance. Just a bit of local colour. Guides the eye through. There we are. A few scratches here and there as well. Quite pleased with that. Let me know what you think in the comments and stuff. I'll put a bit of titanium white here. Just there, just gave, there's a bit of a straight line there I didn't like, so just gives it something to do. There's no straight lines in the sky, of course. Right, where's my fence brush? Need to give it a quick dry. It handles on the floor somewhere because it broke as soon as I got it. Yeah, there's the handle. So it's no good, is it? Useless. But anyway, it's still a brush. It still works. To make sure it's dry, I cleaned it and uh, didn't dry it. So just nice and gently, just go over, take some of these lines out. There we go. Right, I think that might be about it. Just get rid of those lines. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go and enjoy my haggis. And uh, yeah, I think that isn't too bad, really, in the grand scheme of things. So I enjoyed it, that's the main thing. And uh, don't forget, I'm on YouTube, Instagram, and John Kidd, well, I'm obviously on YouTube, you're watching on YouTube. Um, Facebook, Instagram, and johnkid.co.uk. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.